The Convair F-102 Delta Dagger was an American interceptor aircraft that was built as part of the backbone of the United States Air Force's air defenses in the late 1950s. Entering service in 1956, its main purpose was to intercept invading Soviet strategic bomber fleets, Tupolev 295, during the Cold War. Designed and manufactured by Convair, 1000 F-102s were built. A member of the Century Series, the F-102 was the U.S. Air Force's first operational supersonic interceptor and Delta Wing fighter. It used an internal weapons bay to carry both guided missiles and rockets. As originally designed, it could not achieve Mach 1 supersonic flight until redesigned with area ruling. The F-102 replaced subsonic fighter types such as the Northrop F-89 Scorpion, and by the 1960s, it saw limited service in the Vietnam War in bomber escort and ground attack roles. It was supplemented by McDonnell F-101 Voodoo's and, later, by McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom IIS. Many of the F-102s were transferred from the active duty Air Force to the Air National Guard by the mid to late 1960s, and, with the exception of those examples converted to unmanned QF-102 full-scale aerial target, FSAT, drones, the type was totally retired from operational service in 1976. The follow-on replacement was the Mach 2 Convair F-106 Delta Dart, which was an extensive redesign of the F-102. Design and Development Initial Designs and Problems On October 8, 1948, the Board of Senior Officers of the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Air Force, made recommendations that the service organize a competition for a new interceptor scheduled to enter service in 1954, as such, the all-new design would initially be dubbed the 1954 Ultimate Interceptor. Four months later, on February 4, 1949, the U.S. Air Force approved the recommendation and prepared to hold the competition the following year. In November 1949, the Air Force decided that the new aircraft would be built around a fire control system, FCS. The FCS was to be designed before the airframe to ensure compatibility. The airframe and FCS together were called the weapon system. In January 1950, the U.S. Air Force Air Materiel Command issued request for proposals, RFPs, to 50 companies for the FCS, of which 18 responded. By May, the list was revised downward to 10. Meanwhile, a board at the U.S. Department of Defense headed by Major General Gordon P. Suville reviewed the proposals, and distributed some to the George E. Valley-led Air Defense Engineering Committee. Following recommendations by the committee to the Suville board, the proposals were further reduced to two competitors, Hughes Aircraft and North American Aviation. Although the Valley Committee thought it was best to award the contract to both companies, Hughes was chosen by Suville and his team on October 2, 1950. Proposals for the airframe were issued on June 18, 1950, and in January 1951 six manufacturers responded. On July 2, 1954, three companies, Convair, Republic and Lockheed won the right to build a mock-up. Until then, Convair had done research into delta-winged aircraft, experimenting with different designs, two of which fell under the name P-92. Of the three, the best design was to win the production contract under the name Project MX-1554. In the end, Convair emerged as the victor with its design, designated XF-102 after Lockheed dropped out and Republic built only a mock-up. The development of three different designs was too expensive and in November, only Convair was allowed to continue with its Model 8 to 80. To speed development, it was proposed to equip the prototypes and pre-production aircraft with the less powerful Westinghouse J40 turbojet. Continued delays to the J67 and Ma 1, formerly MX1179, FCS led to the decision to place an interim aircraft with the J-40 and a simpler fire control system, dubbed E-9, into production as the F-102A. The failure of the J-40 led to the Pratt & Whitney J-57 turbojet with afterburner, rated with 10,000 pounds force, 44 knots, of thrust being substituted for the prototypes and F-102As. This aircraft was intended to be temporary pending the development of the F-102B, 
which would employ the more advanced Curtis Wright J67, a licensed derivative of the Bristol Siddeley Olympus which was still in development. The F-102B would later evolve to become the F-106A, dubbed the Ultimate Interceptor. The prototype YF-102 made its first flight on October 23, 1953, at Edwards AFB, but was lost in an accident nine days later. The second aircraft flew on January 11, 1954, confirming a dismal performance. Transonic drag was much higher than expected, and the aircraft was limited to Mach 0.98, i.e. subsonic, with a ceiling of 48,000 feet, 14,630 m, far below the requirements. Major Redesign To solve the problem and save the F-102, Convair embarked on a major redesign incorporating the recently discovered area rule, while at the same time simplifying production and maintenance. The redesign entailed lengthening the fuselage by 11 feet, 3.35 m, being pinched at the midsection, dubbed the Coke bottle configuration, with two large fairings on either side of the engine nozzle, with revised intakes and a new, narrower canopy. A more powerful model of the J57 was fitted, and the aircraft structure was lightened. The first revised aircraft, designated YF-102A flew on December 20, 1954, 118 days after the redesign started, exceeding Mach 1 the next day. The revised design demonstrated a speed of Mach 1.22 and a ceiling of 53,000 feet, 16,154 m. These improvements were sufficient for the Air Force to allow production of the F-102 with a new production contract signed in March 1954. The production F-102A had the Hughes MC-3 fire control system, later upgraded in service to the MG-10. It had a three-segment internal weapons bay under the fuselage for air-to-air -air missiles. Initial armament was three pairs of GAR 1-2-3-4, later redesignated as AIM-4, Falcon missiles which included both infrared homing and semi-active radar homing variants. The doors of the two forward bays each had tubes for 12 FFARs, for a total of 24, with initially two in, 5.1 cm, being fitted and later 2.75 in, 70 mm, replacing them. The F-102 was later upgraded to allow the carrying of up to two GAR-11 AIM-26 nuclear Falcon missiles in the center bay. The larger size of this weapon required redesigned center bay doors with no rocket tubes. Plans were considered to fit the MB-1 Genie nuclear rocket to the design, but although a Genie was test-fired from a YF-102A in May 1956, it was never adopted. The F-102 received several major modifications during its operational lifetime, with most airframes being retrofitted with infrared search-slash-tracking systems, radar warning receivers, transponders, backup artificial horizons, and improvements to the fire control system. A proposed close support version, never built, would have incorporated, in addition, an internal Gatling gun, an extra two hardpoints for bombs, in addition to the two underwing pylons for drop tanks that were fitted to all production F-102S, bigger internal fuel tanks, and an in-flight refueling probe. To train F-102A pilots, the TF-102A trainer was developed, with 111 eventually manufactured. The aircraft was designed with side-by-side -side seating to facilitate pilot training, a popular concept in the 1950s, also used with the American Cessna T-37, British Hawker Hunter T.7 and English Electric Lightning T.4, among others. This required a redesign of the cockpit and nose incorporating a set of vortex generators on the top of the cockpit to prevent flow separation under certain circumstances, and repositioning of the intake ducts. Despite the many changes, the aircraft was combat capable, although this variant was predictably slower, reaching only subsonic speeds in level flight. The numerous inherent design and technical limitations of the F-102 led to a proposed successor, initially known as the F-102B Ultimate Interceptor. The improved design, in which the proposed Curtis Wright J-67 jet engine was eventually replaced by a Pratt & Whitney J-75, underwent so many aerodynamic changes, including variable geometry inlets, 
that it essentially became an entirely new aircraft and hence was redesignated and produced as the F-106 Delta Dart. Convair would also use a Delta wing design in the Mach 2 class Convair B-58 Hustler bomber. Operational History Introduction to Service The first operational service of the F-102A was with the 327th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at George Air Force Base, in April 1956, and eventually a total of 889 F-102As were built, production ending in September 1958. TF-102S and F-102S were used in the 1960s by the Air Defense Command, ADC, at Perrin AFB, Texas to train new F-102 pilots. They also provided platform training on flight characteristics of Delta-winged aircraft for pilots who were destined to fly the B-58 Hustler bomber for the Strategic Air Command, SAC. The F-102S official name, Delta Dagger, was never used in common parlance with the aircraft being universally known as the Deuce. The TF-102 was known as the Tub because of its wider fuselage with side-by-side -side twin seating. During the time the F-102A was in service, several new wing designs were used to experiment with the application of increased conical camber to the wings. Ultimately, a design was selected that actually increased elevon area, reduced takeoff speed, improved the supersonic L-D ratio and increased the aircraft's ceiling to 56,000 feet, 17,069 m. A modification was required to the landing gear doors due to the wing redesign. The Air Defense Command had F-102 Delta Daggers in service in 1960 and the type continued to serve in large numbers with both Air Force and Air National Guard units well into the 1970s. George W. Bush later President of the United States, flew the F-102 in the 147th Fighter Interceptor Group based at Ellington AFB in Houston, Texas as part of his Texas Air National Guard service from 1968 to 1972. Vietnam War Service The F-102 served in the Vietnam War, flying fighter patrols and serving as bomber escorts. A total of 14 aircraft were lost in Vietnam, one to air-to-air -to -air combat, several to ground fire and the remainder to accidents. Initially, F-102 detachments began to be sent to bases in Southeast Asia in 1962 after radar contacts detected by ground radars were thought to possibly be North Vietnamese IL-28 Beagle bombers considered to be a credible threat in that time period. The F-102s were sent to Thailand and other nearby countries to intercept these aircraft if they threatened South Vietnam. Later on, Boeing B-52 Strata Fortress Strikes, codenamed Arc Light, were escorted by F-102s based in the theater. It was during one of these missions that an F-102 was shot down by a North Vietnamese Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21 using an AA-2 Atoll heat-seeking missile. The MiGs approached undetected, and one of the F-102s was hit by an air-to-air -air missile, which did not explode immediately, but remained lodged in the aft end of the aircraft causing stability problems. As the pilot reported the problem to his wingman, the wingman observed the damaged Delta Dagger explode in midair, killing the pilot. This was the only air-to-air -air loss for the F-102 during the Vietnam War. The other F-102 pilot fired AIM-4 missiles at the departing MiG-21S, but no hit was recorded. The F-102 was employed in the air-to-ground role with limited success, although neither the aircraft nor the training for its pilots were designed for that role. The 509th Fighter Interceptor Squadron's deuces arrived at Da Nang Air Base, August 4, 1964 from Clark Air Base, Philippines. The interceptor was equipped with 24 2.75-in, 70mm, FFARs in the fuselage bay doors. These could be used to good effect against various types of North Vietnamese targets in daylight. At night it proved less dangerous to use heat-seeking Falcon missiles in conjunction with the F-102S nose-mounted IRST, infrared search and track, on nighttime harassment raids along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Some F-102As were configured to accommodate a single AIM-26 Super Falcon in each side bay in lieu of the two conventional AIM-4 Falcons. Operations with both the F-102A and TF-102A two-seaters, 
which were used in a forward air control role because its two seats and 2.75 in 70 mm rockets offered good versatility for the mission, continued in Vietnam until 1968 when all F-102s were returned to the United States. Later use In 1973, six aircraft were converted to target drones as QF-102s and later PQM-102BS, simulating MiG-21 threat aircraft under a full-scale aerial target, FSAT, project known as Pave Deuce. Eventually, the program converted hundreds of F-102s for use as target drones for newer fighter aircraft, as well as testing of the U.S. Army's Patriot missile system. The F-102 and TF-102 were exported overseas to both Turkey and Greece. The Turkish F-102s saw combat missions during the 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus. There have been claims of air combat between Greek F-5S and Turkish F-102S above the Aegean Sea during the Turkish invasion. A Greek internet website editor, Demetrius Sturgeou, claims that the Greek F-5S had shot down two Turkish F-102S, while the Turkish side has claimed that their F-102S had shot down two Greek F-5S, however, both Greece and Turkey still officially deny any aircraft losses. The F-102 was finally retired from both of those air forces in 1979. The F-102 left U.S. service in 1976, while the last QF-102A-PQM-102B drone was expended in 1986. No F-102S remain in flyable condition today, although many can be seen at museums or as permanent static displays as gate guardians at Air Force and Air National Guard installations. Variants YF-102 Prototypes Non-area-ruled fuselage Powered by 14,500 lbf, 64.5 knots, J57P11, 2 built YF-102A Area-ruled prototypes Powered by 16,000 lbf, 71.2 knots, J57P23 4 converted from pre-production aircraft F-102A Production Model Initial 8 pre-production aircraft built with non-area ruled fuselage. Remainder built, 879, with area ruled fuselage. TF-102A Two-seat training version, 111 built. F-102B The original designation of the F-106A. F-102C Proposed tactical attack version with J57P47 engine. Two converted as as YF-102C engineering test beds. QF-102A. Target drones converted from the F-102A. Six built. PQM-102A. Unpiloted target drones. 65 converted. PQM-102B. Revised target drone conversion capable of being flown remotely or by pilot in cockpit. 146 converted. Operators. Greece. Hellenic Air Force. In 1969, Greece acquired 24 of these aircraft for use by the 114th Combat Wing at Tanagra Air Base. 19 of them were single-seat F-102As, 5 were two-seat TF-102As. They served with the Greek Air Force until 1978, when the F-102S were replaced by Mirage F-1CG fighters. Turkey Turkish Air Force Beginning in 1968, approximately 50 F-102As and TF-102As were transferred to Turkey from U.S. Air Force stocks. Before transfer to Turkey, they were overhauled by CASA in Seville. They were initially assigned to the 191st Philo, Squadron, based at Murtad, replacing the F 84 F Thunderstreaks previously assigned to this unit. This unit was redesignated 142nd Philo in early 1973. In 1971, F 102 S were also assigned to the 182nd Philo based at Diyarbakir, replacing the F 84 FS previously being flown by this unit. F-102S remained in service with these two squadrons until mid-1979, 
when they were replaced by the F-104G in the 142nd Philo and by the F-100C in the 182nd Philo. United States United States Air Force Air Defense Command slash Aerospace Defense Command 2nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron Suffolk County AFB, 1956-1959 5th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Suffolk County AFB 1956-1960 11th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Duluth AFB, 1956-1960 18th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Woodsmith AFB, 1957-1960 27th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Griffiths AFB, 1957-1959 31st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Woodsmith AFB 1956-1957, transferred to Alaska Air Command. 37th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Ethan Allen AFB, 1957-1960. 47th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Niagara Falls AFB, 1958-1960. 48th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Langley AFB, 1957-1960. 57th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Naval Station Keflavik, 1962-1973 59th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Goose Bay AFB, 1960-1966 61st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Truax Field, 1957-1960 64th Fighter Interceptor Squadron McCord AFB, 1957-1960, Payne Field 1960-1966 71st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Selfridge AFB, 1958-1960 76th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Westover AFB, 1961-1963 82D Fighter Interceptor Squadron Travis AFB, 1957-1966 86th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Youngstown AFB 1957-1960 87th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Lockbourne AFB, 1958-1960 95th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Andrews AFB, 1958-1959 317th Fighter Interceptor Squadron McCord AFB, 1957-1958 318th Fighter Interceptor Squadron McCord AFB 1957-1960 323D Fighter Interceptor Squadron Truax Field, 1956-1957, Harmon AFB, 1957-1960 325th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Truax Field, 1957-1966 326th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Richards Gabor AFB 1957-1967 327th Fighter Interceptor Squadron George AFB, 1956-1958, Thuliab, 1958-1960 329th Fighter Interceptor Squadron George AFB, 1958-1960 331st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Webb AFB, 1960-1963 332nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron McGuire AFB, 1957-1959, England AFB, 1959-1960, Thuliab, 1960-1965. 438th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Kinchelo AFB, 1957-1960. 456th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Castle AFB, 1958-1960 460th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Portland AFB, 1958-1966 482nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron Seymour Johnson AFB, 1956-1965 498th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Geiger Field, 1957-1959 Alaskan Air Command 317th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Elmendorf AFB, 1958-1970 31st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Elmendorf AFB, 
1957-1958. United States Air Forces in Europe. 3-2D Fighter Interceptor Squadron Soesterbergab, 1960-1969. 431st Fighter Interceptor Squadron Zaragozaab, 1960-1964. 496th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Hanab, 1960-1970 497th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Torijanab, 1960-1963 525th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Bitburgab, 1959-1969 526th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Ramsteinab, 1960-1970 Pacific Air Forces. 4th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Misawa Ab, 1957-1965. 16th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Naha Ab, 1959-1965. 40th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Yokota Ab, 1957-1965. 64th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Clark Ab, 1966-1969. 68th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Itazukaib, 1957-1965. 82D Fighter Interceptor Squadron Nahaib, 1966-1971. 509th Fighter Interceptor Squadron Clarkib, 1959-1970. Air National Guard. 102D Fighter Interceptor Squadron, New York and Suffolk County ANGB. 1972-1975 111th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TX Ang Ellington Field, 1960-1975 116th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, WA Ang Geiger Field, 1965-1969 118th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, CT Ang Bradley ANGB, 1966-1971 122nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, LA Ang NAS New Orleans, 1960-1971. 123D Fighter Interceptor Squadron, or Ang Portland ANGB, 1966-1971. 132nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Mi Ang Bangor ANGB, 1969-1970. 134th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, VT Ang Burlington ANGB, 1965-1975. 146th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Pa Ang Pittsburgh AP, 1961-1975. 151st Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TN Ang McGee Tyson ANGB, 1963-1964. 152D Fighter Interceptor Squadron, AZ Ang Tucson ANGB, 1966-1969. 157th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, SC Ang McIntyre ANGB, 1963-1975. 159th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, FL Ang Emerson Field, 1960-1968. Jacksonville ANGB 1968-1974 175th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, SD Ang Sioux Falls AFB, 1960-1970 176th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, WI Ang Truax Field, 1966-1974 178th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, ND Ang Hector Field 1966-1969 179th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, MN Ang Duluth ANGB, 1966-1971 182nd Fighter Interceptor Squadron, TX Ang Kelly AFB, 1969-1969 186th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, MT Ang Great Falls ANGB 1966-1972 190th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, I.D. Ang Gowan Field, 1964-1975 194th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, C.A. Ang Fresno ANGB, 
196th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, CAANG Ontario IAP, 1965-1975. 199th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Haiang Hikam AFB, 1960-1977. Aircraft on display. Canada. F-102A. 56 to 1266 Stephenville, Newfoundland. This aircraft was formerly of the U.S. 59th Fighter Interceptor Squadron, Goose Bay, Happy Valley, Labrador. Greece. F-102A. 56 to 1106 Tanagra. 56 to 1232 Larissa. TF-102A. 56 to 2355 Tatoy. Netherlands. F-102A. Registration unknown, on display at the National Militaire Museum, Soesterberg. Former Greek aircraft, painted as 56 to 1032, 32nd FIS U.S. Air Force. Turkey. F-102A. 55 to 3386 Istanbul Aviation Museum. TF-102A. 56 to 2368 Istanbul Aviation Museum. United States. YF-102A. 53 to 1787 Air Park at Jackson Barracks Military Museum, New Orleans, Louisiana. 53 to 1788 Carolinas Aviation Museum, Charlotte, North Carolina. TF-102A. 54 to 1351 Selfridge Military Air Museum, Selfridge ANGB, Mount Clemens, Michigan. 54 to 1353 Century Circle at Edwards Air Force Base, near Rosamond, California. 54 to 1366 Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Monthan AFB in Tucson, Arizona. 56 to 2317 Grissom Air Museum, Grissom Air Reserve Base, former Grissom AFB, Peru, Indiana. 56 to 2337 Fort Worth Aviation Museum, Fort Worth, Texas. 56 to 2346 Pennsylvania National Guard Military Museum, Pennsylvania National Guard Headquarters, Fort Indian Town Gap, Pennsylvania. Aircraft was assigned to the Pennsylvania Air National Guard, at the 112th Fighter Interceptor Group, Pittsburgh International Airport, Coraopolis, Pennsylvania from 1960-1974 and is on loan from the National Museum of the United States Air Force. 56-2352 Southern Museum of Flight, Birmingham, Alabama. 56 to 2353 Wisconsin National Guard Memorial Library and Museum, Folk Field, Camp Douglas, Wisconsin. 56 to 2364 Castle Air Museum, Atwater, California. F-102A. 53 to 1801 Joe Foss Field Air National Guard Station, 114th Fighter Wing, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 53 to 1804 Fresno Air National Guard Base, 144th Fighter Wing, Fresno, California. 53 to 1816 Boise, Idaho Military History Museum, Boise, Idaho. 54 to 1405 Strategic Air and Space Museum, Ashland, Nebraska. 54 to 1373 Hickam AFB, Honolulu. Hawaii. 55 to 3366 Pacific Aviation Museum, Ford Island, Honolulu, Hawaii. 56 0984 Wings Over the Rockies Museum, former Lowry AFB, Denver, Colorado. 56 0985 McIntyre Air National Guard Base, South Carolina. 56 0986 Maps Air Museum, Akron Canton Regional Airport, Ohio. 56 to 1017 South Dakota Air and Space Museum, Ellsworth AFB, Rapid City, South Dakota. 56 to 1053, 
painted as 56 to 1274, Alaska Heritage Park, Elmendorf AFB, Alaska. 56 to 1105 Lions Park in Great Falls, Montana. 56 to 1109 Peterson AFB, Colorado Springs, Colorado. 56 to 1114 Marchfield Air Museum, March Arb, former March AFB, Riverside, California. 56 to 1115 Fairchild AFB, Spokane, Washington. 56 to 1134 Arizona ANGB, Tucson, Arizona. 56 to 1140 Aerospace Museum of California, former McClellan AFB, Sacramento, California. 56 to 1151 Museum of Aviation, Robbins AFB, Warner Robbins, Georgia. 56 to 1219 Empire State Aerosciences Museum, Schenectady County Airport, New York. 56 to 1252 Ellington Field Joint Reserve Base, Houston, Texas. Former President of the United States George W. Bush flew this model with the 147th Fighter Interceptor Group, 111th Fighter Interceptor Squadron of the Texas Air National Guard in the early 1970s. It is mounted on a pole that exits the burner. His name is on the canopy. 56 to 1264 Connecticut ANGB, 103rd FW, Windsor Locks, Connecticut. 56 to 1268 San Diego Air and Space Museum, Gillespie Field, El Cajon, California. 56 to 1273 Wisconsin National Guard Memorial Library and Museum, Folk Field, Camp Douglas, Wisconsin. 56 to 1282 Transportation and Industry Museum of Alaska, Wasilla, Alaska. 56 to 1325, painted as 56 to 1476, Minnesota Air National Guard Base, Minneapolis, Minnesota. 56 to 1368 Evergreen Aviation Museum, McMinnville, Oregon. 56 to 1393 Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Monthan AFB in Tucson, Arizona. 56 to 1413 Castle Air Museum, former Castle AFB, Atwater, California. 56 to 1415 Pittsburgh IAP Air Reserve Station, located at Pittsburgh International Airport, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Refurbished in 2010. 56 to 1416 National Museum of the United States Air Force, Wright Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. 56 to 1427 Travis AFB Heritage Center, Travis AFB, Fairfield, California. 56 to 1502, painted as 55 to 3432. North Dakota ANGB, 119th FG, Fargo, North Dakota. 56 to 1505 Minot AFB, Minot, North Dakota. 56 to 1515 McCord Air Museum, McCord Air Force Base, Washington. 57-0788 Long Island MacArthur Airport, Long Island, New York. 57-0817, painted as 56 to 1357, Florida Air National Guard Base, 125th Fighter Wing, Jacksonville, Florida. 57-0826 Shepard AFB, Wichita Falls, Texas. 57-0833 Hill Aerospace Museum, Hill AFB, Utah. 57-0858 Burlington Air National Guard Base, Burlington, Vermont. 57-0906 Museum of Aviation, Warner Robins AFB, Macon, Georgia. Specifications, F-102A. General Characteristics. Crew, 1. Length, 68 feet 4 in, 20.83 m. Wingspan, 
38 feet 1 in, 11.61 m. Height, 21 feet 2 in, 6.45 m. Wing area, 661.5 feet superscript 2 slash 61.52 m superscript 2, original wing, or 695 feet superscript 2 slash 64.57 m superscript 2, conically cambered wing. Airfoil. NACA 0004-65 mod root and tip. Empty weight, 19,350 pounds, 8,777 kilograms. Loaded weight, 24,500 pounds, 11,100 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 31,500 pounds, 14,300 kilograms. Internal fuel capacity, 1,085 U.S. gal, 4,107 liters. External fuel capacity, 2 times 215 U.S. gal, 815 liters, drop tanks. Power plant, 1 times Pratt & Whitney J57P25 after burning turbojet. Dry thrust, 11,700 lbf, 52.0 knots. Thrust with afterburner. 17,200 lbf, 76.5 knots. Performance Maximum speed, Mach 1.25, 825 miles per hour, 1,304 km per hour, at 40,000 feet, 12,190 m. Range, 1,350 miles, 1,117 mo. 2,175 km. Service ceiling, 53,400 feet, 16,300 m. Rate of climb, 13,000 feet slash min, 66 m slash s. Wing loading, 35 lb slash foot superscript 2, 172 kg slash m superscript 2. Thrust slash weight, 0 0.70. Armament. Rockets, 24 times 2.75 in, 70 mm, FFAR, folding fin aerial rocket, unguided rockets in missile bay doors. Missiles. 6 times AIM-4 Falcon air-to-air -air missiles or 3 times AIM-4 Falcon. 1 times AIM-26 Falcon with conventional or nuclear warhead. Avionics. MG-10 Fire Control System. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.